Have you ever wished that when you're in Canva, all the designs you created were actually sitting there as a template for you to use for future designs? Like say you've got a social media post and you're like, oh, last year I created that really cool social media post. I wish I could just access it now instead of having to like go through everything and try to find it and then have to just recreate it from scratch anyway or having to like duplicate past designs and try to like refine them and not get it all too messy. I found a solution to this and I'm actually really excited to show you this because I'm going to be implementing it for the first time in my business with you right now. Um, and so it's going to be so, so fun. This is going to be such a game changer. I've recently gone through this process with some of my students inside the co-creation club and their minds were blown because they were just so excited for the potential of what this means for their business. It now means that when they're creating a social media post, they don't need to have some like file of all these graphics to try to find in the past and try to apply them to their new graphics. They don't need to try and like duplicate past slides. They don't need it. Like it just is... It's so not messy and I'm so excited to show you this. So let's get into it. So hi, if we haven't met, my name is Jackie. I am a graphic designer who loves teaching business owners how they can create their own incredible brand and graphics. And as you can tell, I get very passionate about it because I find it so, so fun. And I know how powerful design is for business owners and I wanna make sure that you're utilizing it for yourself as well. Plus this one is all about saving you time and sanity and actually working smarter and not harder, which I think is so important as a business owner, especially if you're doing your own graphics. You wanna make sure that you're making that process as smooth as possible. Let us get into it. So if you have a look at my screen here, I'm just opening up Canva. The first First thing I want to do is open up what I'm going to have as my slide base. Um, but what I want to show you is actually just how it all looks. So I'm going to open up the slide base and then I'm going to show you what it looks like and then I'm going to show you how to do it. So first, we're open to create a design. I always recommend creating posts for Instagram at the portrait size. I'm going to search Instagram and then portrait size. I've got a whole other video I'll link here that kind of shows you how to actually set these designs up and how to actually create a good social media post. I'm not gonna go into that now, but if you wanna watch that, feel free, because it shows you a lot of tips around designing well. But I'm gonna click on this one. And now what I'm, what I'm gonna do is show you where you can actually find these templates. So if you go into design here, you'll see there's normal templates that Canva suggests, but you can actually store your own brand templates in here. So if I go to Brand Hub, this I think is just a Canva Pro feature. So if you don't have Canva Pro, you not going to be able to do this one just yet but when you ever do upgrade which there is a link in my bio should you desire to do that then just know that this feature is here ready for you when you do that um, but you can see here there's a brand template section if you don't have anything in here it'll just be empty but for me I've just done a little test and I've saved one in here and pretty much there is a whole stack of designs here I've done in the past and I've saved them all to one file in Canva or one like design in Canva and if I open up this design I can actually press click and it's going to apply that design to my Canva this is now fully editable ready for me to edit, use and use as in my own template. So what we're going to do today is make one of these for ourselves. So this one's just a test one. It looks so, so messy. So I'm going to show you how you can make a really clean one and how you can do that really, really quickly based on stuff you've already worked on, not starting from scratch again. So I'm going to delete that page for now. So what I've done for myself just now is I've gone through my Canva and I've just searched like social media. And I've just grabbed lots of different past social media posts that I've done before. So I've opened up this one and this one and this one. Because in the past, my technique has been to pretty much create a, a Canva design and then just duplicate it. So you can see here, this is October 22. Then I duplicated it for February, March, and April. Then I duplicated it for quarter two. And so I've kind of just kept duplicating my designs over and over, which was working okay for me because it just meant that I could scroll through here and think, I want to create a design like this one today. And then I would just edit it as needed and save it and upload it to my Instagram. But I want to show you a better way for that. And I'm so excited. So what I'm going to do and what I want you to do is go through any past designs you've worked on and think, which one of these designs is going to be useful for me in the future? Is there a testimonial template that I've done before that I can reuse? Is there a post or a layout that I use quite regularly in my designs for my social media that I can just duplicate over and over again? So for me, I'm just going to scroll through all of my different designs and see which ones I'm going to need in the future. So if you're not seeing this view in your Canva where it's got the scrolly view down the bottom, then you can actually just click this little up and down arrow. So if I press this up and down arrow, you'll see that it either switches from the page view down the bottom here or down to the view that you might be normally used to, which is just the scrolly page version here. So I'm going to click this up here so I can see all of them really quickly and easily. So for me, for example, I'm gonna click on this one. This one here is really, really great. I'm showing as a bit of a preview of one of my students' works um, and how um, her social media posts are looking and how it used to look. So I might actually just copy this page. So once you're in this view, you can click on a page, then press Control-C or Command-C if you're on Mac. 
and then open up this new design that we opened up over here for my template it's kind of like my base template design and I'm going to press paste so command or control V and when you wait a second be patient here sometimes it takes up to 30 seconds or so to paste in and you'll see that it's pasted that design right into my Canva I'm going to go through and edit these a little bit later but for now I'm just going to dump a heap of designs into my Canva so I'm just going to go through again and find anything that I think might be repeatable here is a testimonial I've got from a student I've got a picture of her some of her designs plus um, a testimonial from her so I'm going to use that again in the future so I'm actually really grateful because I kind of lost that template and I wanted to use it again again I just pasted it in and it's right there ready to edit okay I'm going to go along here um, might find this one here is a bit of a four points step thing which I think is really really great and helpful because I want to do more of those into the future paste that in then go along more all right I'm going to fast forward now so that you can kind of just watch me doing all of these but not have to sit through me doing all of these I just wanted to say too, you can actually copy more than one design at a time. So for me, I'm like, oh, I like this one, this one, and I like this one, and I like uh, this one and this one. I'm actually holding down command on my keyboard. It might be control or shift on PC. I'd say control shift would make you co collect all of the ones in between, not just a particular one or two. Um, and I'm going to press control C again and go over to my design and press control V and it's going to paste in all of the ones I had selected. So if you don't want to do one at a time, use that little tip. All right, so now I've popped all of those designs into this one Canva document. So I'm gonna now label this social media template. I'm gonna call it something that's gonna remind me that I don't really wanna to touch this unless it's, I wanna to touch the template file. You could say do not touch or something like that to kind of make yourself realize that this is, this is the real one. And so what I would do now is kind of go into this template and edit anything that needs editing. So say this one here, I might think, actually I really prefer if this photo was more in the center of my template. And so moving that across like so. And so just go through and make any final tweaks you want to make to these templates. Um, if there's something you know that's not quite right or something you know is going to be more useful for future needs. Or for me, for example, I might change some of these to have different color backgrounds because I notice there's not enough purple in here. Um, and so kind of go through and edit the, te the templates to be whatever you kind of need them to be for me here. I'm like, I think I like doing larger text these days. So I'm going to make all of this a little bit larger. Um, it's not quite readable at the moment, but I would edit that later and I would go, go and kind of do that. You can continue editing this, so don't feel like it's a once and done, um, but it's good to kind of get it good and then kind of go from there. All right, so once you're happy with your template, at least for its foundation, what you need to go to is press share at the top right-hand corner here and press brand template. You want to save this as a brand template. If this option isn't here for you, then you might have to click on more and then it'll show you a whole heap of other options for saving. But for me, you'll see it's down here for brand template and that's going to say where do you want to save this for me I want to save it to brand templates or if you want to save it to somewhere else you might be able to do that this might actually be a workaround if you don't have Canva Pro I'm quite sure that you might be able to just save this to another spot but I'm going to go to brand templates because that's where I wanted to go I'm going to press add and then publish and that's soon going to be accessible for me to access in my brand template section now a little caveat here I've noticed for myself it actually takes a few minutes to populate here so if you just go straight away and check like if I went to design here um, and went to my brand hub and press my brand templates you'll see that it's not there yet so I might need to wait a couple of moments for that to populate um, if you don't have Canva Pro what you can actually do so say if I just go down to my home um, and I go to my projects here this is all of your different folders what you could actually do is like all of your designs are actually saved here and so you could just click on say this one I wanted to make as my social media templates I could actually press these three dots here and press move to folder and make my own folder that says brand templates it doesn't have to be in Canva's brand hub so I hope you enjoy that little feature and little kind of workaround um, but hopefully that works for you if it doesn't let me know in the comments and I can hopefully find a different way to make it work for you um, but in essence I'm just going to see if it's going to be here now I'm going to try refreshing um, but usually it takes me a moment all right here it is so say for example I'm creating so I, I still think I'll create like say for example for May I might go to um, new design I'll go to Instagram post portrait size and then I might create a set that I'm going to do for my social media posts for May. I'm also going to do this my, for my real covers as well. May, Instagram and the year because there's plenty of Mays and I'm going to go to my brand hub find out my brand templates here and when I click on this it's going to open up all of the different pages you see it hasn't quite finished populating yet so I'm just going to go to the other one that was my example one here and I might say I want to 
to use this for my next social media post, click that in, edit it away, change the text to what I needed it to be, maybe go to my brand elements and change the background color, or maybe change the clouds around. And that design is up and ready for me to go. I don't have to do anything else but that. So I hope this template and this tutorial has been helpful for you. Thank you for watching along. Let me know in the comments if this works for you and what you're going to be using it for, whether it's social media posts, whether it's real covers, whether it's anything else at all. And if you're looking for some more help with your Canva and with your design, I would love to have you along to my Seriously in Business Challenge. This is a three-day series or you can binge it all it's not you don't have to do it over three days where I teach you how you can create your own standout brand and graphics going through the foundations of the stuff that you need to think about so the designs actually do your business justice your designs are actually fast for you to make actually communicate to your audience and help your business to look professional to make it look seriously in business which is why I named it that it's 100% free you can start it instantly um, and all you need to do is head to the link in the description and pop in your name and email and I will send that through to you you can either binge it straight away or you can watch it over three days so thank you for joining me me. hope you love the challenge and if we haven't already met my name is Jackie head over to my Instagram if you want to hang out my handle is white dear GD and I look forward to seeing you there and I'll see you next week for another tutorial bye